Early motor development follows the cephalocaudal and proximodistal principles. That is, development proceeds from the head down and from the middle of the body to the outer parts of the body. Infants first gain control over their neck muscles. Two-month-old Jessapina is just beginning to be able to lift her head while lying on her stomach. Soon, she will be able to use her arms to elevate her chest and head like six-month-old Anthony can do. As infants gain trunk control, rolling over and sitting with support become possible. Thank you. Nine-month-old Hannah not only sits with support, but also shows the ability to coordinate her neck, shoulder, and trunk muscles when being pulled to a sitting position. So that was her so essentially picking herself up. Once an infant has gained voluntary control over the upper and middle parts of his body, development of the extremities quickly follows. Nine-month-old Holly can now use her arms and legs to pull to a standing position. Soon, she will be walking using furniture for support as Stephen is doing. Finally, at about one year of age, children typically begin walking alone, moving quickly to more complex and coordinated motor skills, such as kicking, throwing a ball, climbing steps. Although there is wide individual variation in the exact ages at which infants acquire specific skills, they progress through the same sequence of motor achievements fairly consistently.